Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Wakayama Prefecture at Koyasan, which is a really historical Buddhist monastery complex that's been around for 1200 years. And today I'm here to do an overnight temple stay experience. I'm going to be staying overnight in a temple and seeing what it's like to live like a Buddhist monk. And also I'll be experiencing Buddhist traditional vegetarian cuisine called Shojin Ryori and seeing how it's made and and of course, what it tastes like. So let's go inside the temple and experience getting in touch with nature and also spirituality. Let's go. This is Ekoin Temple, and it's a Shukubo temple, which is a type of temple that allows visitors to stay overnight, especially visitors who are participating in a pilgrimage to different temples in the area. So tonight, I'm gonna be staying here and living like a monk. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Hello. Hello, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Wow, this is such a beautiful temple. <laughs> and you. you speak English, right? Yes, I do. Yes! Oh, that's great! I'm just seeing this room, but what is this? Uh, this is the statue of Oteru-san. Oteru-san? Who, who donated the light to the cemetery, Okinawa Cemetery. Wow. She wanted to make the memorial service for, for her parents, but she didn't have any much money. So she sold her black beautiful hair. And then she bought the lantern to donate this lantern to the cemetery in wow. Kuo-san. That's an amazing story. <laughs> that is really interesting. Can we take a look at the other sure, parts sure, sure. of the... Can I show you around? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, wow! This is stunning! It's an open terrace to the garden. <laughs> I am amazed. This must be so beautiful in all seasons. Yeah, all seasons. What is this room? This is the meditation hall where oh. the guest can practice the meditation. So you would sit on these cushions? Yes. And meditate. Meditate. Do I have a chance to try this? Sure, sure. It is now time to take part in Buddhist meditation. Okay. So please close your eyes. Okay. And inhale through your nose slowly. Exhale through your mouth slowly. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. So slowly you can open your eyes. And please put your hands together, put your hands up. And exhale through your mouth. You put your hands down. And you can touch the floor one more time. Inhale through your nose. Put your hands up. And exhale through your mouth. You put your hands down. Touch the floor one more time. Inhale through your nose. Wow! This is beautiful! This, this is our main temple, main hall, where we chant. Like we have morning ceremony every morning from 7 a.m. What? This is a room you can stay in? Yes, this is the newest. Wow, that's amazing! So this is a brand new suite. It smells so fresh. The design is very like simple yet modern. This looks so comfortable. Oh my goodness. So this is not my room. No, your Which room, room is your mine? Room. I show you now. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is your room. You can take off your oh, seat. Thank seat. you. Oh, this is my room. Wow. <laughs> it is also really spacious. 
Wow, this is such a beautiful room. I've never stayed in such a big temple room before. And thank you very much for the tour. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So next, I'm actually going to go down to the kitchens and see how Shoji Ryori Buddhist traditional cuisine is made. Let's go take a look. I've gotten special permission to go into the temple kitchen to see how they make Shoji Ryori traditional Buddhist cuisine. So let's go take a peek inside. We're now inside the kitchen. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. Kyo wa yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Ah, kuchira kosu yoroshiku onegaishimasu. えっと、今日は何を作られているんですかあ、今日あの、今日夜あの、お出しするえっと、煮物っていうあの料理ですね。はい。煮物が結構出るんですか、精進料理では。そうですね。野菜の炊いたやつは、はい。えっと、精進料
I am now changed into my yukata and I am so ready to try shojin ryori, traditional Buddhist cuisine for the first time ever inside of a temple. This all looks so amazing, but I have a few questions about shojin ryori. Can you tell me what is the importance of having an all vegetarian meal for Buddhist monk? Because uh, in the Buddhist scripture, we can't kill the animal. It has to be uh, vegetarian. But uh, like the vegetables is also the life. Mm. So the important thing for the shojin yori is to appreciate for the food and just have it. I see. So the main point is to appreciate life, and that's why we serve vegetarian meals at the temple. And I'm also curious about your journey to becoming a monk. Sure. So uh, before. Before I came up to Koyasan, I used, I used to be in Australia as a backpacker. Wow. And then like when I came to Koyasan, I felt this teaching of Buddhism is really similar to what I learned in Australia. Like I learned things from nature or mm -hmm. from the universe in Australia. And it's really like similar. And this is also like telling us. <laughs> so from backpacker to monk. Yep. Wow, that's a really <laughs> amazing journey. Um, I'd love to know what the dishes are today. Could sure, you sure. tell me a little bit about this? Sure, sure. So all the who's a vegetarian, actually vegan. Vegan, okay. Vegan, which excludes any meats and fish and eggs mm. and dairies and onions and garlic. Wow. So in the middle, this is eggplant with miso on it. And the tempura. Sure. And this and is our sesame tofu. Oh, this is sesame, sesame tofu. Sesame tofu, which is more sticky and tasty than wow. tofu. Oh, more tasty than I regular. So. <laughs> so you're a fan of sesame yeah, tofu. Yeah, my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? This hot pot. The soup is soy milk based. And oh. there are many vegetables and noodles inside. And what is and this? A sashimi konnyaku. Do you know konnyaku? <gasps> yeah. Sashimi konnyaku. And inside this bowl, there are stewed <gasps> vegetables. That's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful! Thank you so Thank much you for so explaining. Much. I'm so excited to <laughs> dig into my delicious vegetarian shoji nyori meal. Itadakimasu! First, I'm going to try the konnyaku sashimi. Wow, look at that beautiful green. And it's so jiggly. Here we go, itadakimasu! Mmm! Oh! That is really good. But hold on a second, they said no spicy things, but that sauce is really spicy. <laughs> and the konnyaku, it's kind of got like a, a jiggly texture that you can kind of bite through. All right, I'm gonna try the lenko lotus root tempura, dipping it in matcha salt. It's gonna be so good. Mmm. Wow, I love that. It's a really crispy fried tempura batter. The crunch from the lotus root is one of my favorite things ever. Tempura with salt really helps you enjoy the flavor of the vegetables. Really, really delicious. Next, let's try the sesame tofu. This is one of the most popular foods to eat here in Koyasam. So this is not a tofu that's made out of soybeans, it's made with sesame and arrowroot paste, which is kind of a starch that binds it all together. And apparently this is better than regular tofu, so let's give it a try. Mmm, that's rich. The first thing that I notice is the texture is quite different from a traditional soybean tofu. It's a little bit stickier. You can see it's got this like sticky, slightly starchy consistency, um, but it's really, really creamy. And you get this like very, very subtle hint of sesame. Let's try the miso eggplant. This looks really delicious. My first time having miso eggplant. Here we go. Mmm. That has a lot of flavor. The sauce makes it incredible. It's a really delicious, sweet and savory miso sauce. There's a lot of sweetness to it, but it really just brings out the meatiness of the eggplant, 
which is ironic because it's not meat at all, but it's really tasty and it's sweet enough to almost be like a dessert. I've tasted some desserts that have like a sweet miso paste. It does taste like that. Really delicious. Let's try our next dish. I think I'd like to try this shiso leaf wrapped mochi. Okay, let's give this a try. Here we go. Mmm! Wow, that was really tasty. Interestingly, you don't taste a lot of the herbiness of the leaf, and it really tastes kind of like just eating a mochi dessert. It was very delicious. Wow, I'm impressed with everything on this table. So our last dish is probably the main course. All right, so let's try our final dish, which is the soy milk hot pot. Yum. This looks really good. I'm worried it's gonna be really hot. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that is a really flavorful soup. You would have no idea that they didn't use like chicken broth in there. Um, it's a rich, like very flavorful soup with lots of umami. I imagine they take it from seaweed or something like that, but it's so creamy, so rich. Oh, I love all of this and it really warms you up. Mm. Well, I must say I am so impressed with the food here. It all is very healthy, very nutritious food. It's all vegetarian, but it is not lacking in flavor. It is all incredibly delicious and I'm so glad that I had a chance to try traditional Buddhist food because it is amazing and the atmosphere here is incredible. But this is not the end of our video yet. I'm staying overnight, so I'm gonna continue enjoying my meal and I'll be going off to bed and I'll see you guys again in the morning. Good night. I had a wonderful sleep and now it's time to join the morning ceremony and the fire ritual and then of course breakfast This was a wonderful start to the day so far. I, it was my first time to enjoy rituals and such a spiritual experience. But now, of course, it's time to eat. So I'm going to dig in for my morning breakfast. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is gammodoki. It's a type of tofu and it's got little uh, edamame beans inside and carrots. And also, we have the hijiki that the chef was making yesterday. 
It's seaweed and soybeans, very healthy and nutritious. And of course, miso soup. I love the many ways that you can cook tofu. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, this is lovely. It's what I love about the gamodaki is the inside is so fluffy, the outside is kind of a tofu skin, so it's kind of like eating a little tofu cake with edamame beans inside. And it's really quite sweet in Japanese style. It's very delicious. Mm. Let's try the hijiki. Here we go. The seaweed has a little bit of a bite to it, and you can really enjoy the texture of the thinly sliced seaweed and of course, the soybeans. It's all been cooked down into a wonderful savory sauce. Very good. Mm. And of course, miso soup. Ah, that is so good. Warms you up on a cold morning. Well, that wraps up my Shukubo stay here at Echoing Temple, and it was such a wonderful experience. While you can enjoy the stay here simply as a comfortable overnight stay with delicious food, it is actually also so much more than that, where you have a chance to take a glimpse into the life and practices of Buddhist monks, also to reflect inwardly, meditate, give thanks to the food that you eat, and also, Reconnect with nature, your mind, and maybe even something greater. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And there's more videos to come here in Wakayama Prefecture, so make sure to stay tuned. See you guys in the next video. Bye.